Hello everybody, welcome back to another quick tutorial. In this one, I'm in Pacdora.com. Now Pacdora, for those of you that don't know, this is an all-in-one tool that's strictly for packaging. It does anything you can imagine if you're creating merch, if you've got bottles, cans, you've got t-shirts, boxes, anything that's packaging oriented, it's here. And we're not just talking about the basic functionality. We're talking templates and die lines. If you want a 3D rendering in real time to see what it looks like that you can zoom in and out on. Mock-ups. So if you need to do a mock-up, it will show you what it looks like before you send it to the printer and you have all those issues. It's absolutely nuts. And this tool covers it all. I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's go. All right. So the first step, of course, is you want to go to the website. It's packdora.com. I'll put a link in the description below. And then at the top right, you're going to see the login option. Simply click on that and it'll ask you to sign up if you don't have an account. It's free to sign up for. So go ahead and go nuts there. Now I'm going to switch over to Google Chrome because I'm already logged in. So this is what the logged in screen looks like. And you'll very quickly see that this is a very easy to navigate tool. It's simple. You basically use the mockups the 3D design tool and the templates and die lines generator for those of you that, you know, want to make sure you get the, the folds correct. For me, I always click on the mockups generator to start the party. Let's click on that. I'm going to left click on it and then bang, you're going to see we've got a whole bunch of options. Now, Pactora currently has 4,900 pre-built templates and no doubt they're going to add more. So there's a lot here already to work with, but here we go. Let's just flip through here. And then in this case, I don't know, I'm a YouTuber and in this case, for example, I'm gonna create some merch. So I wanna create like a, a soda or an energy drink that I sell to my, you know, to my subscribers as an example. So on the left side, I would go through the menu here and then I would look at cans and jars. And then when I do that, just taking a quick look through here, here you go, here's a standard, you know, basic standard soda can or pop can and here is an energy drink can, kinda looks like Red Bullish. So here you go, we can select any of these. I'm gonna select your basic one here, nice uh, short and chubby one, and I'm just gonna left click on it and go just start working on it. It opens up a new tab, and now I'm gonna show you how to design. All right, so let's go ahead and start the design process. So here we go, we've got our basic silver can here, and again, it's rendered in 3D, so you'll see exactly what your design looks like. Now you have a few options, but the one I generally select is simply to upload an image. So if you've got a pre-built design, whether you built it in Canva or, you know, you just took a picture of it, whatever, I'm going to click on upload and then presto, we're going to get this option here. Now on the right side, you're going to see that I can resize this window. So anything that I do here, any work that I do, you'll see here exactly how it renders in the image. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my finder because I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, maybe go to your... Uh, Windows Explorer and then I've got this kind of cool looking abstract design that I'm just going to drag and drop right there So there we go. I've dragged and dropped it and you know what it doesn't look quite right here Look at this just right out of the box. It's pretty close to a cool looking can But again the dimensions aren't quite right So I'm going to just make this a little smaller and then let's take a look here I'm going to just fit this so if I go ahead and make it smaller You'll see here that I kind of want to fit it into that middle square type thing so I'm just going to pull on this handle here, something like that, and then presto. Let's take a look at it here inside the 3D render. So this is what it looks like so far. Now, you can always pull this down if you don't want it to go right to the top, for example. You want the white at the top. It's doing this in real time, which is absolutely amazing. So do what you need to do there, but I'm going to leave it like that because I like the look of that. And let's take a look here. We've got this very cool can. Now, for some people, that's all you need to do. You're literally done. But I'm going to show you a few more tweaks as well as how to export it and take it to the next level. All right, here we go. So here's what we've got so far here. I'm just going to go ahead and spin this can around. And to be honest with you, I like the look of it. It's kind of got that uh, Vincent Van Gogh Starry Night type style to it. Nice abstract concept. Very cool. Let's add to it, though, in theory. Now, this is, of course, optional. But if you go on the left side here, you'll see we can go ahead and add some elements in. So when I click on that, we can add in text, we can add in shapes, or we can even add in packaging symbols. For example, if this was, I don't know, if this was like non-biodegradable, you'd add that in there. Uh, or you can even add in your social media for that matter. And if we look down here further, we can go ahead and add text in. Now, I'll be honest with you, they've got about, you know, what is it, 6, 12, 14 different styles of text. So in a lot of cases, you may want to go ahead and add in the text 
yourself, whether it's using Canva, which is free, you can use one of their fonts or if you've got something in mind. But if you want to use one of theirs, like for example, what is this? This is more like an energy drink pop can. So I could add something like, there we go, true love. <laughs> and now if I go ahead and I look at the pop can here or the energy drink, okay, I mean, maybe not, but hey, you know what? It's cool, you can go ahead and fix that up, change it up here. Maybe I would make that probably a little smaller and center it. And again, this is just an example of what you can do right out of the box. This is not custom designed or anything like that. And then bang, you know what? If I saw that on the shelf when I was buying a can, maybe I'd go for that. Hard to say. I'm gonna delete that though, because I just wanna show you the technique. I'm not a, as good a designer as you probably are. So there we go. You can add in some elements, shapes, etc. And if you need inspirations, there's two things here. You can add in some pre-built patterns. So I kind of like this Scottish Scotch uh, Christmassy packaging one, but if you like these and they work for you, go ahead and you can also check for inspiration. So for example, here, if I was creating a wine, you could go ahead and delete this, even though I'm not going to, but I want to show you, I'd click this here and then it would just go ahead and add this in and then I can go ahead and then just resize it Maybe I make it bigger, something like this. Let's see what we got here. I'm just doing this in real time just to show you the technique and look at, well, I mean, holy smokes, fruit wine, cherry fruit. That is a really cool looking can. I would probably change the gradient a little bit and stuff, but you know what? For right out of the box, that's really cool. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo that and I'm gonna go back to what we had here. I'm gonna even undo this. And then this is the design. Now I'm gonna click on save and I'm gonna show you some of the next steps here. All right, so there's just one more step and there's an optional step. I'll show you the optional real quickly here. It's not required, of course, but I'm gonna click on this 3D design button here up at the top right. When I do that, you're gonna see here that I get this cool looking 3D style. Now, I'll be honest with you, not everybody you know, is used to this. What happens here is you can basically zoom in, zoom out, and get a 3D representation that you can turn and move, basically kind of like if you were using After Effects or Cinema 4D or uh, something like that. But here you go, you can move it on the X, Y, and Z axes. I generally don't use this, but I will twirl it around just to take a quick look and then maybe move it up and down and just to see what I got. I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this, but I just wanted you to know that that was available. But generally what you want to do now, now that we've got the design we kind of like, and it looks pretty cool, let's go over here to Super Export. When you do that, you get a whole bunch of different options. I'm going to go through them with you right now. All right, so at this stage of the game, the hard work's basically done. You can see here that you can go ahead and render and download a JPEG or a PNG. So I would just click on download depending on what you want. If you've got something that's kind of tricky and it has a die line and you want to make sure like a box, for example, and you want to make sure all the designs and folds are correct or your printer's requesting the die line, you'll see here, I just clicked on die line and I can go ahead and download it. Whether I want a PDF, AI stands for Adobe Illustrator, not artificial intelligence, just in case, or a DXF file. And you can also select a color mode. Now, in most cases, you want CMYK, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and key. Uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black is what it actually stands for. I want to make sure my design skills or my design knowledge is there. So CMYK is general, but if you want uh, generally the right one, but if you want RGB, go nuts. You can export that right here. If you want videos, now normally you'd be like, why would I want a video? But if you are creating, you know, social media posts or you're doing, um, you know, you, you've got a YouTube channel and you want a sec, you know, like a four second snap of this, or you want an eight second video, like look at this. This is just an example here of this uh, can just shooting in. I would just go ahead and click on export now and literally job's done. You can already see that it's cooking. Uh, I can go ahead and download it when it's done. So this is just some of the stuff you can do here. I'll go back to that screen while it looks at that. If in any way you need the code, in most cases you won't need that, but it's there. If it's HTML and you need the HTML, go ahead. And finally, guys, if you wanna share it, and this is not sharing on Facebook or Instagram, but this is sharing within like a design team. So you can share this link. I'll just copy the link, and then I could share that to maybe, you know, the head of marketing, or you can share that link to your printer or to your packager, whoever that is, and that way they can make sure that everything's correct. Because if you have a, you know, a large run and you wanna do like a lot of packages or a lot of cans, 
you want to make sure you get it right first. So there you go. That link's ready to go. And literally, guys, that is it. That's how easy this is to use. It's like Canva and Figma kind of met, but they did it in a browser, and it just works. For packaging, this is the way to go. Pactora, give it a shot. It just works. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.